Hi, I'm Kaya from KJT Productions. As part of our primary research into the genre of thriller, we studied film and TV to find examples of camera shots that are commonly used. The first we found was the dolly zoom. As seen in Jaws, directed by Steven Spielberg, this is a disorientating and confusing camera trick which zooms in or out on the camera while moving the opposite way on a dolly. This, as you can see, makes the background and the subject seem like they're moving apart from each other. It is typical of thriller films, as it gives the audience a strange and uneasy feeling, as they are seeing the scene in a way they wouldn't see it with the naked eye in reality. This emphasises the fear and danger, and enforces the thrilling elements of the film. I think it works really well with this genre, especially in Jaws, as it reinforces the feelings of the characters, and it is an unusual shot which doesn't happen often, giving it more of a surprise and suspense. This shot is something which, if possible, we should replicate in our film, because it is conventional of the genre and develops the tension. The second one we studied was the establishing shot, which typically sets the scene in thriller films and introduces the setting, which often creates a foreboding atmosphere for the rest of the film. An example would be Shutter Island, directed by Martin Scorsese in 2010. This scene begins with a tall, foreboding and ominous building, which gives the audience the time of day and location that the film is based around. It also expresses the pathetic fallacy of grey sky and enables thrilling imagery to be created in the audience's mind. If an establishing shot wasn't used, the audience may not understand the place and time that the thriller is set, or they may not get the full imagery with the pathetic fallacy. The introduction to the place the film is based around is key to the understanding of the rest of the film, and the establishing shot does this successfully. I think establishing shots are very important with regards to the genre of thriller as they emphasise the place where the trouble and the problems might occur and they give a good foreboding atmosphere from the start of the film. I think therefore that when we make our own film we should consider using establishing shots to begin the scenes. Next we studied the tracking shot. These shots are used to show movement and it's especially effective in thriller films as it can show a victim being chased or followed or watched. Suspense is also built as the camera is moving closer and closer towards the character. An example of this is a scene from The Shining, directed by Stanley Kubrick, which shows the young boy character being followed down the corridor of a haunted hotel that he is staying in. Tracking shots like these adhere to the conventions of thriller films, as they make the person being followed seem vulnerable, and like an attack is imminent. This builds tension in the scene, and engages the audience into the storyline and the fate of the characters. I really like the way the tracking shot shows the character's vulnerability and the way it engages the audience and gives them fear and expectation for an attack to occur. I think we should definitely use this shot in our film as it's effective and relatively easy to replicate. The next shot we studied was the handheld camera shot. This gives a ragged and jerky effect to the scene which makes it look more real. It allows the audience to feel as though they are part of the movie and they are experiencing it with the characters in the film. An example of this is Cloverfield, a sci-fi thriller directed by Matt Reeves. This camera shot is very effective in creating a scene that the audience feel immersed in. It develops tension and it makes the characters feel more relatable. For this reason, I think it's very important that we try and incorporate this into our film. The next shot that we studied was the close-up. Close-ups show the characters' face and their emotions, which help detail the scene and encourage the audience to empathise with each character. Close-ups are used in almost every thriller film, but an example would be from The Purge, directed by James DeMonaco in 2013. Close-ups also create suspense, as you can't see the surroundings, only the face, which can make the viewer anxious and frightened. Their emotions are often also weird, frightening or threatening, which is key to immersing the audience in the film and creating tension.
I think close-ups are a key factor in thriller films, as they show emotion and facial expression, making it emotive and emphasising the character's fear or pain. It is therefore definitely something we should consider in our film. The next shot we studied was the point of view shot, which allows the audience to see and feel what the characters in the scene are seeing. In thriller films, point of views are usually shot from the killer's or antagonist's view, or from the victim's view. This makes the audience feel uncomfortable, as they are forced to watch from the point of view of a killer, or from the vulnerability of a victim. I think this uncomfortable and uneasy feeling works really well in thriller films, and it's something we should consider when we make our own. The final shot I found most commonly used in thriller films was the over-the-shoulder shot. In thriller films, this shot is often used to show dialogue between two people. This shot allows the audience to see the reactions of one person whilst the other is talking, which emphasises feelings and attitudes to one another. An example of this is shown in Shutter Island, directed by Martin Scorsese. The over-the-shoulder shot is perfect for thriller films, as it maintains tension as the idea of someone watching the characters over one of their shoulders is suggested, as well as showing the character's emotion. For this reason, it is better than, for example, a shot reverse shot, as this doesn't contain the second character's shoulder and therefore is less foreboding and doesn't suggest that they're being watched. The emotion between the characters is key to thriller films, and this shot is perfect to convey facial expressions and therefore their attitudes. I think that the over-the-shoulder shot, if we chose to have dialogue in our film, would be something we should consider, as it makes the audience aware of emotions, but also gives the scene a creepy atmosphere and suggests that they're being watched over their shoulder. To conclude, thriller films use lots of different shots, mainly to connote fear, tension and emotions of the characters, or make them appear a certain way, such as vulnerable or powerful. I think a lot of these shots are key to the genre, and if possible they should definitely feature in our film, specifically the dolly zoom establishing shot and the point of view shot.